Two months ago, Eric, Gene, and I flew to Nashville to film a video with Joe to unveil the new Leica M6. In that time, we also got to take some images for it, and some of the images that I took actually ended up on Leica's website. So let's talk about those images today. This first image was used as Joe's photo for his profile on the new M6. Uh, it was taken while we were filming a little outside of Nashville in a little wooded area in this creek specifically. Joe was doing a portrait session with Maddie to put the new M6 through its paces, and we were really focused on filming during this portion of the day, but as he was coming out of the creek, the light looked really good, and I stopped him for a quick second to take a couple of images. I really only took two variations of this frame, uh, and then he kept moving on. I was actually really grateful for the autofocus in my Mamiya 645 AFD, because it allowed me to kind of do this quickly uh, without really breaking up his rhythm that he was in while he was shooting, and we can kind of keep on with the day. So really happy with how this portrait turned out. This next image was the banner image on Joe's profile page, and it's probably my favorite of the bunch because of the story behind it. Now, I actually kind of unintentionally made this image with my little Nikon L35 AW. We were filming in downtown Nashville in the evening, and because Joe's a street photographer and he's always using a flash for his night photography on the streets, I thought it'd be interesting for us to get some footage of someone taking a flash photo of him. I didn't really want to be in the clip itself, but I thought the action of a flash on his face could look cool for the footage. So without telling Joe what we were doing, I told Eric to roll and I just started walking down the street. And as I got close to him, I pulled my point and shoot up to my face, quickly took a photo and kept walking. To be honest, I couldn't even see through the viewfinder as I took this photo. It was really, really dark out. and. To me, the image didn't matter as much as really just kind of getting the effect of the flash on his face. So I was shocked when I developed the photo later and it actually turned out to be a really cool portrait of him. Uh, really, really thrilled with how it turned out. I think the flash looked really flattering on him and the dark background with the city uh, lights and everything was a really cool landscape. And uh, it felt really fitting for Joe and his work as a street photographer. So yeah, I really love this portrait of Joe. Lastly, these product images that I took of Joe holding the M6 were all made in the hotel room that Eric, Jean, and I were staying in Nashville during our trip. I love the soft wraparound light that was coming in from behind the M6. The way Joe's hand was holding the camera strap and the shape that the strap made in the frame and the kind of mysterious and overall very soft quality of the image and the texture of the curtains. Um, I think it just all added up to make a really pleasing set. And I'm also really happy that Leica chose to use it in the film strip orientation that we delivered to them as well. Cause I think it looks a little more visually interesting seeing all three of these images all laid out next to each other with the film borders and everything. I think it just added a, a lot of character to the set. And while this image didn't actually make it on the website itself, I do want to talk about it a little bit cause I'm really happy with how this one turned out as well. In our hotel room, we found this red table that happened to match the Leica red pretty perfectly. So we pulled it out from one of the bed sides and put it right up next to the window to start using that as a prop for the shoot. We put the new M6 on top of the table using that soft light that was coming through the curtains right next to it. And because of the mirrored surface of the table, we got these really cool reflections of both the curtains and the camera as well. The biggest component of why I love this image so much is kind of how it came together. It felt very serendipitous and it reminded me of how I photographed a lot of products and a lot of subjects in the early days of my career. I think a lot of limitations really inspire creativity. And in this case, we didn't use any artificial light or any set pieces or anything that we planned uh, to make this image possible. We really just used our surroundings and used our minds to create something interesting. We used the window light in the room. We've just found this red table uh, in, in the room as well. And it just, it, it felt like this thing where it's like you just, you, you work with what you have and you use your your technical expertise to create the most artistically inspiring thing. And I, I really love working like that. Uh, it's really fun to have, you know, all the lights and the lenses and the cameras and all the things that you 
can use at your disposal, uh, but sometimes I find the most fulfillment in actually just using what's available and making the best possible image out of that. Uh, and for that reason, that's why this specific image is one of my favorites from that trip. So those are the three images that I took for the release of the new Leica M6. Uh, I am unbelievably grateful that I got to do this in the first place. I never in a million years thought I would have the opportunity to even do anything along these lines. And I'm super grateful to Joe and to Eric for making this possible in the first place. Um, if you do have any questions about these images, please leave me a comment below. And if you haven't seen the film that we made for the launch of the camera as well, I'll link that in the description for you to check that out too. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon. Oh man. Just gonna leave that? Yeah.